Friday, so I'm feeling all the Friday energy. I did a hot yoga class this morning, made myself a little protein shake and showered, and I'm gonna go pick up a coffee. Today is dedicated to my kitchen. I'm very excited about this because as you can see, it's in total disarray. I've set up a few like minor things here and there if you saw in my last vlog, but pretty much I just moved in on Sunday and it's Friday. Definitely go check out my last moving vlog if you haven't seen that yet. But if you're new, <laughs> hello, I'm Lucia. I'm 25 now, which is crazy, but I recently moved to New York City. I've been a nomad for two months and I finally moved into my very first apartment on my own. It's a studio and I just love it here. It's a total wreck right now because I'm still trying to get everything set up. I'm taking my time and Today I'm gonna dedicate to setting up my kitchen. We might not finish it 100% obviously with like decor in the kitchen. I have a few ideas, but I don't even have any of that stuff ordered yet. So decor is gonna be like the last project. For now I'm just focusing on like getting things set up and organized, so. Today is the kitchen. I've been washing a bunch of dishes throughout the week. So I feel like I'm in a good place to get everything organized, figure out where I wanna put stuff. I wanna do a grocery run today. And yeah, just focus on finally getting my kitchen super organized and functional because I've been eating out every meal and <laughs> I'm ready to start cooking in this beautiful, beautiful kitchen. I'm obsessed with it. It's one of the main features of my apartment that really like drew me to choosing this because I just love like the chic vibe, how like the fridge and freezer blends in. The dishwasher is so miniature, but it's perfect for me. I'm just a girl. And that's literally the dishwasher right there. I know it just just looks like a cabinet but it's literally the dishwasher i've had some struggles if you saw my last vlog with opening it all the way but they took out the last oven handle if you can see right there <laughs> so that i could open up my dishwasher all the way so like it's a nice apartment but it's also a little scrappy but i pretty much have most of my kitchen stuff i've ordered like a few random things i set up um my espresso machine so i can make an espresso yesterday so i have what's it called why can't I like point? This is like confusing. <laughs> um, I, but I have this like little pod tray that I set up that I think is kind of cute. My fridge, surprisingly, is not magnetic. So that's just like good to know. I don't know if there's any magnetic surface. I'm gonna have to test and see. But yeah, for now, like today, I just wanna focus on like getting the cabinets organized and getting all the dishes in there and making it super functional and like where I wanna like see everything. I'm very much a organization girl and I try to be super minimalist with like the things that I have, but I try to be maximalist in terms of like decor and having like fun, vibrant decorations and clothing and stuff like that. But I really try to be super functional with like how I'm organizing my kitchen because I just feel like that gives you so much peace of mind. And I'm really on a whole like health and wellness journey too. So I wanna like set up my kitchen in the best way that's gonna like promote healthy habits if that makes sense. So like, I don't know, just like organizing my snacks in a certain way and just like having everything there easily accessible so that I wanna cook more at home and so that I'm just able to have the most like efficient, productive routine because since I'm gonna be returned to office five days a week, even though it might be a little flexible, basically since I'm gonna be an office girl, I just feel like having everything super organized is gonna be so helpful because like I'm not gonna be here all day. And even when I was here all day, it's like I want it to be organized and clean and easy. So it's gonna take a lot of work to like set it up so that it'll be like exactly what I want it to be. So I wanna be very intentional with everything and make sure I'm really thinking about where things are going. Obviously, it can always switch things up if it's not working, but that's my plan. So I'm so excited. This has been such a fun moving series. We, <laughs> I feel like I've been doing this moving series for so long, I don't even know what vlog number it is, but because I was a nomad and then now I'm finally moving into my apartment, we still got a long way to go in terms of setting everything up and getting settled and feeling at home. But by the way, I live in Fida in Manhattan in New York, but I feel like that was obvious, maybe it wasn't. Anyway, <laughs> I post every Sunday and Wednesday, so subscribe so you don't miss those videos. And let's just have a great day setting up my kitchen in my brand new studio apartment in NYC. But first we need coffee, duh. So I'm gonna go grab a coffee and I'm really craving a nice latte from Coffee Project. So let's do that. All right, let's take on the day. <laughs> All right, 
right guys, I got some good work done this morning, feeling good. And I am gonna go do my very first grocery run to stock up the kitchen. And then from there I'll organize. I do have some calls today and other work I have to do, but we are gonna get to organizing very, very soon. But first I wanna get out, get some sunshine, get motivated and get some new groceries so I can finally stop eating out for literally every single meal. <laughs> I am back from my grocery run. I got the lay of the land in terms of my little walk to get groceries. It is kind of a touristy area in some parts of Idai, so I feel like the walk there was kind of touristy, but I kind of like it. There's a lot of energy in the city. Such a gorgeous summer day. I can't believe it's June 14th as I'm making this video. Like, that's insane. But let's do a little grocery haul. $90 worth of stuff, so <laughs> that's crazy, but... I got some chia seeds. I'm so excited, you guys. I haven't been to a grocery store in like over a month. Like this is crazy. So I'm glad I'm finally getting the groceries done. Some almonds to have as a snack. Got a bunch of fruit. So I got some blueberries and they had a two for seven deal on the strawberries. So I got whoop, two things of strawberries. Here's the other one. Got bananas. I think I'm gonna freeze some of these because I want to make protein shakes with them and then i got a bunch of avocados and i got two bags of gluten-free everything bagels these were also on sale everything that i like was already gonna get was on sale so it was perfect and then i got some dairy-free yogurt yum 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 green tea two of these watermelon lime olipops i'm obsessed with this flavor this flavor is so good and then some almond butter to make my smoothies that i want to try making because i also got a new nutri bullet that i need to unbox and everything so i'm gonna try and find my gluten-free toaster <laughs> i think it's in this box right here i really Oh my god, my towel. I need to hang this up. What a mess, you guys. But I really want to make a bagel right now before I have my next call. And I'm pretty sure my toaster is in here somewhere. Push in between all these clothing items. So I don't really know the best way to get it out. But we're just going to go for it. And I found it. Yay! I'm just going to set it up over there. Because I just really want to make this quickly. Finally reunited with my gluten-free toaster. Where I've only toasted gluten-free bread on one side. I'm trying to remember which side I did the gluten-free bread. I feel like it's the left side, but I honestly don't know. I think it is the left side. Yeah, I'm pretty positive it's the left side. Okay, because then the other side is like used for non-gluten-free stuff. So like if I have a friend that is over or whatever, they can toast. But honestly, I might just get a smaller toaster and get rid of this one. It is kind of a big toaster for just one gal. So, all right, let's make my first toast in the apartment. <laughs> guys <laughs> finally making something in my apartment that isn't espresso or tea this is a hot bagel it's truly so important having like a good kitchen set up with celiac too because i feel like there's just so many things you have to think about with celiac that you just i don't know just, like, having your own space and own kitchen just like designed for yourself makes it so much easier you don't have to deal with roommates who are like annoyed about you needing your gluten-free stuff Oh my god, this feels so claustrophobic. <laughs> I really need to get this organized. Also, I don't know if I mentioned this to you guys in my last vlog, but my AC is like not really working and it's kind of hot outside today. It's like in the 80s, so I feel very warm. <laughs> oh my god, this avocado. Me against avocado. <laughs> avocado 1, Lucia 0. Why is it this working? <laughs> I'm out of practice, you guys. It's been a minute since I've made my classic meal. What's going on? I don't think this is going to be the best avocado toast I've ever made, but... It'll be something. The avocado just like isn't super ripe yet. I feel like my toaster needs to get warmed up to the space. But that is okay. The nutrients are the same. All right. Cheers, you guys. First avocado toast in the apartment. <laughs> okay, guys. I have an hour and a half to like speed organize the kitchen. <laughs> I just made myself some spearmint tea because I've heard that this helps with hormonal acne and my like 
hormonal acne is kind of coming back so i don't know but that's just what i'm having and yeah let's start from square one and just get kind of everything out of the way that's on the floor of the kitchen and just put the mess somewhere else because it's kind of driving me crazy and it's hard to walk around in here Okay guys, we cleared out the space so I can finally walk around the kitchen. That's a start. And oh my God, I feel like I have so much to do. I don't even know where to begin. So I think I'm gonna start by organizing my dishes and figuring out what cabinets I wanna put them in. So let's see here. Oh, also I stocked up the fridge a little bit. Put my fruit in the little Tupperwares. I'm obsessed with these Tupperwares. I've had them for a while now. I just love how they all match and I just think it looks aesthetic and you might as well make things look aesthetic. Why not? Let's see here. Okay, so this has my trash can underneath. I wanted to do a trash can underneath because I just feel like since it's a small studio apartment, I don't want to take up too much space with like a whole ass trash can right here. <laughs> so I feel like under the sink, it works well. It just kind of and I wanted something with a lid because I feel like without a lid, that's like kind of disgusting. I don't know. So I have that there. So I have my trash can in this cabinet. And this one, I think I'm going to store cleaning supplies. I have this little organizer that I can set up. And right now I just have my like dishwasher pellets in there. But for now, I'm just going to leave that as it is. This is my dishwasher. The coolest thing ever. I'm obsessed. In this cabinet right here, let me show you guys. There's this little drawer and conveniently, literally all of my utensils fit right here, which is kind of crazy, but I have this. I had this for my last apartment and it's just the perfect little thing from the container store to fit utensils in a small space because there's no really other good drawer for them besides this one. So I have that there. I have these two cubby holes there that aren't super accessible like it kind of have to bend down so i'm not sure what i'm going to use that for yet we shall see and then on top here is where i think i'm going to put the majority of like my dishes and stuff i want to put most of my stuff on the first things just because i'm short so let me just open up and see how much we got i honestly have so much cabinet space it's a little crazy i even have a cabinet up there I already been putting some stuff in these just as like a little tiny storage thing. So I have like my water bottles to restock the fridge with, have some tequila, <laughs> and then I have my little like alcohol glasses since I don't have too many of those, just like shot glasses, champagne flutes, and a margarita thing. And then in here, I think I started putting my like recycling bags from getting groceries. So I have that for now and yeah there's just so much cabinet space like this is kind of crazy guys i even have something above there oh my god okay i think this is where my coffee maker is gonna live because i just i like this it's next to my kitchen table i feel like that's a good place to put it so i'll probably put my mugs here so that's convenient and maybe just go ahead and put I don't know glassware but i honestly probably won't put my glassware there i don't know we'll just see i don't really have too many mugs right now but i could see myself getting more mugs and then i'm thinking that this could be really good to use as like my pantry oh my god i have so many cords going on right now this is kind of driving me crazy i'm gonna have to move that but i think that this could be a good pantry and it also has like a nice drawer that i guess is probably what most people Ah, struggling you guys would use for their utensils but i didn't need to do that although i still do have like these other random utensils i'm gonna have to find a place for so 
We got a lot of stuff going on here. I'm gonna move these cords because they're driving me crazy <laughs> and then we'll get to work. Okay, I moved the cords. <laughs> Very much a sleigh. Let's see, so I have these little bins that I used to use for like, organizing my, I can't talk today guys, like something needs to wake up in my brain. For organizing my pantry. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I'm normally more like capable of speaking. They kind of are a little dirty, so I'm gonna get some Clorox wipes and just wipe them down a bit. Okay, I thought I had Clorox. I thought I had Clorox. Ah, I cannot talk. <laughs> I thought I had Clorox wipes, but I can't find them. So maybe I don't. So I'm just gonna, I have some like spray though that I'm gonna use. Okay, this should work for now. They're not too dirty. Just got a little bit of stuff in them from the storage, I guess. But I feel like that'll help me keep things organized in this little pantry. It's so crazy being able to set this up exactly how I want it and taking the time. Because I feel like in the past I've cared a lot more about apartment organization and stuff than my roommates. So I haven't really been able to like go all the way with it before. <laughs> Not that I'm going to be doing anything crazy, just like normal stuff, but it's just fun. Okay, remind me to never stack these bends on top of each other ever again. Oh my God, that took longer than I was hoping. Okay, so I'm thinking the first cabinet, I'll put stuff that's a bit more like, I don't know, stuff I use every day, like my granola bars, things like that, things of that nature. And then on the bottom drawer, I'll do more like essentials, like pasta. Not that I really have a ton of food to stock up in there right now, so I'm probably gonna have to reorganize this at some point, but just to get a basis of where I want to put things. I think this is probably the best spot. Actually, okay, yeah, I think this is the best spot down below. I'm second guessing myself, but no, this is good. This is good. <laughs> okay, so like my almond butter, this is gonna go in the fridge super soon, but not until I open it. So for now, I'm just gonna put it here in an easily accessible place. I got some almonds and chia seeds. I think I use those pretty frequently. Avocados. And then I actually ordered a fair amount of snacks recently. So I have these bars that I found. They're called IQ bars. They're supposed to be like low sugar, high protein. So I'll just store my granola bars in one of these things. Amazing. And then I have. Oh my god, these are so good. I got these dark chocolate espresso things from Justin's. It's dark chocolate almond butter cups with espresso. <laughs> Basically everything I love in one little tiny package. It's so good. I've had way too many of them since I've ordered them. I think I'm gonna put that in something cute. Like maybe I'll just put that in something like this. Let me wipe this thing down. But I feel like I've been craving sweet treats recently. So I feel like I wanted to have something healthy on hand. So I thought these were perfect have all stocked in my pantry. could literally eat a million of these in one day. They're so good. They smell amazing. I just love the smell of dark chocolate. That smell, in my humble opinion. Okay. Okay, that actually fits perfectly. I feel like that's just fun. Everyone needs a sweet treat stuck up in their pantry. Take this as your sign if you don't have it already. I feel pretty stocked up with snacks. I have some bonza pasta I'll put at the bottom over here. And I think I have some more random food items like that somewhere within my belongings. So as I get those out, I'll put those in. Oh, I found another bonza. So I'll put this in this little pasta bin I just started. This is pretty much it for my pantry right now. I'm thinking this could be a good spot to put my teas and overflow and espresso pods, although this is a 40 count holder. <laughs> it's kind of silly that I got this, but I think it's kind of fun. You gotta romanticize things. And yeah, I think I'll put teas in here. So let's see how that looks. I'm trying to become more of a tea drinker. So I feel like having them in a very accessible spot will help me drink more tea. That's the psychology I'm thinking about it at least. Doing psychological tricks on myself. Got my chamomile tea, my green tea, my matcha, and this is a bunch of element. I feel like that goes in here too. Similar category. And then I got my spearmint tea. Okay, I feel like that's a good spot for my tea. Good thinking, Lucia. 
giving myself a pat on the back. <laughs> I need to clean out this. This is where I put a bunch of my like big utensils, like the big spatulas, those types of things. So I'm just gonna clean this out real quick because it got a little bit dusty. I'm honestly thinking I might be able to use some of my cabinet space to store some different non-kitchen related items, but first we're just gonna see. Cause I just feel like there's a ton of storage in this kitchen that I could totally use for something else if I needed to. And I feel like I might need to <laughs> cause I don't have a ton of other storage in the place, but and I refuse to pay for extra storage. Cause that's just a money pit in my opinion. Like I'd rather donate something than have to pay for storage for something. I just have a few of these like big utensil things. I don't have a ton. So I feel like this will all actually fit in here pretty well. I don't even know what this is. Like, what does this do? I feel like that's kind of an example. Okay, when I find something that I'm like, ah! <laughs> not me throwing this. Oh my God, okay. When I find something where I'm like, what even is this? Like, am I ever going to use this? I need to not put it in a prep place. So I need to put it to the side and even think about like, do I even need this? So I'm going to set this to the side. Yeah, these mini whisks are the cutest things ever, but it doesn't make sense to go in there. I could be adding more stuff to this, but I think for now, this is everything that goes in my cute little mason utensil jar. Oh, it even says utensils on it. Love that for me. Okay, I feel like I'll put this next to the stove so maybe here i don't know i might have it that's kind of unimportant but anyway okay Ooh, i have some ziploc bags okay i need to figure out where i want to put these types of things i feel like they could go under the sink oh they also could go in that little cabinet over there by the fridge or by the freezer i feel like this could be a good spot for them little ziplocs and then maybe i'll move these under and then i'll put like saran wrap or something in the next second shelf we'll see Ooh, my bananas. Where would these go? Cause I feel like I can't put them in the pantry. So I might need a fruit bowl. I'm gonna add that to my list of things to order, but that's low priority. <laughs> Let's see, I think I have a to order list. Amazing. I also have a bunch of other random utensils and measuring cup type things that I'm not really sure what to do with yet. So I'm just gonna leave them for now. I think next we should focus on our dishes which is very exciting. So I feel like when I'm making stuff, it'll be most convenient for me to have like all my dishes here, here, and here. I feel like cups would make sense over there, but I also wanna have my mugs on top of the Nespresso machine. So let's just see. I have a ton of dishware, it feels like. <laughs> but, okay, I'm gonna clear off this little space so then I can put my dishes on the counter and then see where I wanna put them from there. Cause it, Everything is so cluttered right now. My mind is like, <laughs> got this hairspray over here. Don't know why. Napkins, napkins. This is gonna last me the rest of the year, I think. Napkin holder. Oh, okay. This is my protein powder, which I do use a lot, but it is a pantry item. So I think I'll put it in the pantry. Taylor Swift Air Store Cup. Not sure what I'm gonna do with this. Doesn't really match my aesthetic, but it's such a souvenir. I can't get rid of it. <laughs> I think the toaster is good right there for now. I feel like I should put the plates here. That's what my gut is telling me. I found the saran wrap and the aluminum foil. So I'm gonna put that in that little cabinet I was showing you guys. plates big plates that i'll put there and i have small plates i guess i'll put next to that then i think i'm gonna do bowls because i feel like i'll use these bowls more than these random like plate bowl mixture things <laughs> that's what i'm gonna put there for now and then oh my god this is like an insanely sharp knife and then I guess I'll just keep these on this side and then put my cups on this lower level right here. So I have like all my plates, plates continued. And then I guess I'll do like Tupperware here because I use my Tupperware quite a lot. So I'll put my Tupperware and maybe my mason jars. I don't know, we'll see. But I think that 
would be good to put here. Okay guys, I'm eating some almonds, but I have therapy. So it's time to put this little kitchen organization on pause, but I will be back. Hello you guys, I had quite the excursion. I wasn't in therapy for that long, but I ended up doing therapy, grabbing sweet green, getting dressed, had a long break from kitchen organizing, but the night is still young, it's 10 p.m., so I might do some more kitchen organizing tonight. Why not? I ended up going to the East Village. I walked there, and then I took the subway back. I was meeting a friend. We went to this place called the Book Club Bar, which is a super cute spot, or book bar club. I think it's book club bar. Anyway, it was super cute. It's like a coffee shop in the daytime, and then it turns into a bar, and it's also a bookstore. It's so cute. I need to go back there. I loved the vibes, we weren't there long. I had this epiphany on the way. I was like, I really want, like I'm trying not to drink super often. I try to only drink like once a month for special occasions, which I know it's like, okay, special occasion every single month, but like there's so many holidays in New York. It's like, there's so many festive occasions where you're drinking. And coming up is my brother's wedding. So I'm like, okay, that'll be my drinking event so i don't really want to drink until then and but i'm like i love espresso martinis and whenever i was walking there i was like i'm craving a virgin espresso martini like an alcohol free espresso martini i was like trying to figure out how they could make that and then i was like that's literally just a normal latte or just like an espresso and i was gonna get an espresso that was my plan but i was getting like, so sweaty from walking over there because like it's summer and like the stress is kind of like i don't know it's kind of a lot for summer like it has kind of like a knit material to it anyway i got a nice latte which is kind of crazy to get at like 6 30 p.m on a friday but that's what i was feeling i mean that's like literally what an espresso martini is like you're having espresso but it's just more dignified for nighttime, I guess, versus an iced latte. I had the iced latte, it was good. And then oh, I, what's it called? We went to a comedy show at this speakeasy called Gamma and they had good comics there. It was really fun. I had a good time. It's funny, it was a really small venue, so it felt like very intimate. And I was like, I felt bad whenever there weren't like laughs at something, but it was fun. It was Mama's Boys, comedy i think is what it's called and it was a great time and now we take off the makeup and then do more kitchen organizing because why not hello you guys <laughs> in typical me fashion i just completely passed out last night and didn't get any kitchen setting up done at all but i got some good sleep so we're here for it it's okay and I'm going to a soul cycle class with my friend Mel. I'm excited. And then after we're gonna have like a picnic or something. So another little break in kitchen setting upping, but we're gonna finish today. Okay, I'm determined. It's Saturday. It's 10:30 a.m. I got plenty of time after my social plans. I purposefully have not been booking too many social plans so I can get everything all set up and ready. So I'm holding myself accountable. We're gonna do this today and I'm not gonna fall asleep. <laughs> But for now, let's go to SoulCycle.
guys. Hello, hello. Oh my god, it's Sunday now. I had the best Saturday, honestly. It was so chill. I had a nice little morning afternoon with Mel and we went to spin. We went and got Acai Bowls coffee, walked the West Side Highway. I got myself another coffee at this place called The Elk that had this, it's like this big drink. It's kind of a lot. It's not like for your morning latte, but it's like just for like a fun like afternoon treat. An iced cloud cappuccino. It's basically ice cream, but like in liquid coffee form, <laughs> but it was good. And I feel like I had such a good reset this morning. I went to a 10 a.m. hot yoga class that's 75 minutes. Then I took an everything shower and now we're here. Somehow it's 1 p.m. and that's all I've done today, but I kind of love it. I am ready for my morning coffee even though it's 1 p.m. and we're gonna get a bunch of kitchen organizing done today. I know <laughs> I said I was gonna get this all done on Friday now it's Sunday but your girl has been living life but I do really want to get things set up better so that I can just have more fun living here because right now it is very like I'm just I feel like I'm not like living here yet I'm just kind of I have all my stuff here, but it's not all organized. So I definitely do want to get the kitchen done today and maybe we'll get to some other stuff too. We shall see, but cheers you guys. Let's have this latte from Coffee Project. I have a little point system going on with them. So until I get my free coffee, <laughs> then I'll start making my own. But yeah, let's have a good day. Okay, I've downed the coffee. <laughs> so we're ready to get back to it. I keep on delaying this, but we got this guys. I'm throwing on a podcast. And yeah, we're just gonna continue organizing things. I honestly feel like I don't have too much longer to go with it, especially since a lot of the kitchen stuff I just like don't have yet. So I don't have too much stuff to organize. So let's see, I think I should finish. I had started like organizing my like glassware. Oh, I think I ran the dishes last night. Yeah, it worked. I did a Mondelay and I didn't even hear anything. That's amazing. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna finish just like organizing all the tubware and glassware. And then once that's done, then I'll reevaluate what I need to do. Okay guys, it's now 3 p.m. I feel like I made some good progress with the kitchen. I just had a little snack, some avocado toast and the yogurt parfait. So let me show you guys everything I have together so far. Okay, so obviously these Sharpies are gonna go somewhere else and I'm gonna have to figure out a different place where I'm gonna plug in like my laptop because I need a separation of church and state here. I don't wanna have like my laptop cords being all in the kitchen, like that's just, I don't know, I just don't like that energy. But I love my little coffee bar area. This is my pantry, as I was showing you guys whenever I set it up. And then on top here, I put my mugs and I'll probably accumulate some more mugs. And then I'll have like my to-go coffee mugs and stuff that I'll be taking into the office and things like that. This is my Nutribullet. It's brand new, I haven't used it yet. But I wanna start making my own smoothies at home, especially when I go into the office as like my breakfast. I feel like that's such a good healthy breakfast, especially post-workout. And then up there we have my flower bases. Okay, and then 
on top of the microwave there's like this little cabinet if i can open it <gasps> ah! and for now i just put these napkins there there's even more space so like there's so much storage in this kitchen i might end up using this for like non-kitchen stuff i don't know we'll see and then i open here this is all of my glassware and mason jars and then i have random utensils and like my pyrex so i've used that up there and then up there is my waffle maker <laughs> and my Aeros tour cup which i probably will never really use but maybe one day i'll be inspired to make some mini waffles then over here i have all of my plates and bowls i have like my wine glasses and then my cute little champagne flutes and then up there is all like christmas stuff so there's like paper christmas plates Christmas coffee cup, Christmas charcuterie boards, Christmas mug. So stuff I won't need for the time being. That's why I put it all the way up there. And then in here, oh my god, this looks so good. I just have all my matching Tupperware, basically. Mixing bowls and some extra plates. And that's another empty shelf that I can put something in. Yeah, oh, and then here, I mean, you guys already saw my utensils, but I added more utensils down there. Ones I don't use as much. And then at the very bottom is my little, I don't know what that is, but like a baking. <laughs> what is that just like a loaf sort of thing for the oven anyway <laughs> i don't know why i'm blinking on that word dishwasher and then i still need to organize this section with all my cleaning stuff over here is my trash can and i need to organize the sink how i want to set up with like the soap and stuff i need to wash all of these hand wash only things i've been putting that off i have this little space for zip blocks those types of things this is a space for my water bottles and my alcohol <laughs> and the, this is like alcohol related accessories i guess there's a whole nother thing up here maybe i should put the alcohol there since i like probably won't use it super often or like ever <laughs> since i don't really drink especially at home and then up here i have that drawer to my oven which is not the best use of space but like i don't know what else i really need to put up there for now so i feel like that's okay i feel like this looks good for now but there's so much stuff over here and i'm thinking that a lot of like kitchen stuff could be scattered within all this so i want to just take a second and go through all of this junk and see what it is and just organize it a bit in the apartment so that's what we're gonna do now Okay, it's now 4 p.m. I feel so accomplished. I can walk in this little section of my room now, which is crazy. And yeah, things are coming together even more. The Tonys are tonight and I really wanna watch them. So I wanna set up my TV. That's giving me the motivation I need to set it up. Cause I've just been like watching things on my laptop. Like it's fine, I don't need my TV, but tonight we need the TV. So I have my little Roku. I'm a Bob. So we're gonna figure out how to set this up. I know this is technically not the kitchen, but I can still see the kitchen from my eyeline here. And this is a necessity for today. The Tonys are happening, you guys. I know sometimes they invite influencers to the Tonys, and I really, really want to go next year. So bad. I've been trying to be like super involved with like Broadway theater here and stuff, and I want to figure out ways I can be like more involved with it, but. I just love going to shows and sharing it with you guys. I actually have this. 
I, <laughs> I haven't ordered too many decor items, but I already did order, oh, my laundry's ready, but I already did order this like Playbill binder that has like the P and then you can fit in all your Playbills. So I don't have all my Playbills that like I've ever been to cause that would just be like, that would be a lot. That'd be like a hundred. But I wanted to start one of like ever since I moved to New York, all my Playbills. And I already have one, two, three, four. Four of my shows and then this is my movie premiere I went to. So I'm gonna organize all that later, but let me move these boxes. This is annoying me. All right, I guess I should switch out my laundry first. <laughs> okay guys, let's see how we do this thing. I feel like it's kind of dark in this section of my room. I need to get my lamps all sorted out. I don't really see any directions, so it must be very simple. It looks like Roku has upgraded their technology since I bought my last one. Found the instructions. First, I think I need to plug in like the actual TV. So I think I'm gonna need a little USB to like duplicate <laughs> what's going on over there. I know I for sure have one of those. I'm just not sure where it is. So I'll just plug in the Roku on that side for now, I guess. Okay, so I have this. Let's see if the TV works. Oh my God, yay! Okay, the TV actually works as its own entity. Now let's do the Roku. Situation. Where do I put the Roku in? And yeah, I just put it in the HDMI. Ah! Oh my god, you guys, we're making waves. This is so exciting. Okay, share the remote. So, battery tab. Hope I did that right. Pairing remote. This is like magic, you guys. Ah, we're doing it. Oh my God. I like, I haven't had a TV in two months. This is so exciting. Oh, I need to get my Wi-Fi info. I feel like I just have like vivid memories of like my parents trying to set up the cable, which I guess is just so much more intense and like we weren't so high tech back then, but like I just remember it being like such an ordeal and the fact that like I'm just a girl and I'm able to do it by myself. <laughs> easy, easy peasy. We love streaming. Okay, let's see. Not panicking yet. All right, I'm doing the Roku, the QR code route. I feel like this is boring, so I will update you guys when it's done. Okay, the TV is all set up. I'm very, very excited about it. And I thought it'd be a good time to organize my little cleaning bin thing. So let's do it. Okay, underneath here, I like how my trash can is here and just like out of the way. It fills up pretty fast though. <laughs> These are just some random plastic bags. I, oh. let's build this little organizer thing. I don't think it'll be too complicated to do. You just kind of put these little things on. That was so easy, you guys. I am Bob the Builder. I'm gonna put my dishwasher stuff right here because I use it the most. I feel like I'm gonna use that every day. These gloves I like never use, so I'll put them in the back. And let's see. I have these trash bags. I'll just put there, I guess. I have a bunch of random cleaners, but a lot of them are like bathroom type cleaners. So I'll just put all the ones that make sense in here. I got dish soap for ages, you guys. So much dish soap. Dish soap. <laughs> so I feel like that's all I need. I feel like I'll keep these bags down there just in case. But ta-da. That was very quick and easy. I'm sure I'll accumulate more cleaning supplies as the years go by. <laughs> Acting like I'm living here for ages. No idea how long I'm gonna be in this apartment, but at least for 13 months, because I signed a 13 month lease. Although like, as soon as I moved in, I'm like, I wish I signed a 25 month lease because I low key am just loving it here. I love this area. I love the apartment. I think it's perfect for me in this like era of my life. 
but I'm just committed for 13 months, which is good. Okay, I feel like I got the kitchen set up. I mean, I guess I still have some more stuff I could do. Today, I wanna like unbox some stuff later and everything, but I'm feeling really good. I feel like I got a lot done today, even though I really was only organizing for like two hours, but it takes it out of you, you guys. It's like, it's a lot of energy, I feel like, just like organizing everything, undoing boxes. It takes a lot of ment mental and physical energy. So I feel accomplished and I want to take a break and go get some sunshine and go get some sun. <laughs> How many times can I not talk while vlogging? Like I have an issue. I want to go take a break and get some sunshine <laughs> and go on the West Side Highway. So let's go. <laughs> and I also need to run an errand. <laughs> Okay guys, I made it back home. It's 7.40 I think, so the Tony Awards start in like 20 minutes. I'm excited. I was thinking there was gonna be some sort of pre-show thing to watch, but I don't think that is a thing. So, anywho, I need to like set up random stuff during the Tony Awards and also just like unbox a bunch of boxes. <laughs> so I will be working, but I got my steps in and I'm gonna take a second and enjoy my food. I picked up dinner. I was gonna do sweet green, but then I was like, you know what, it's Sunday. I didn't like go eat out at a restaurant all weekend or really all week. So I might as well treat myself to like more of a local spot to get something a little different. And I'm really excited about it. Oh, I do have to tell you guys though, I did step in dog shit on my way back. <laughs> so that was an L, but you know what? Life, life goes on. I just did have to tell you guys that. I don't even know if it was dog shit. It was just like, it was some form of waste in the middle of the road, in the middle of the sidewalk, and it was just disgusting. New York can be kind of disgusting. Okay, but I got some tater tots, and I got a gluten-free burger, but I got it with chicken. I don't know, you guys, I just feel like red meat sometimes maybe doesn't go the best with my digestive system. I don't know if that's TMI, but I'm really trying to make like healthier choices, especially since I have been eating out so much. So I don't know if like getting chicken instead of red meat does anything, but I feel like it does. I feel like grilled chicken is like healthier. I don't know. Anyway, and it also just sounded good. So that's what I got. I'm trying to have more protein too since I've been walking around so much and getting all my workouts in. I feel like I get so many more steps in New York. It's like actually kind of crazy. <laughs> so yeah, I'm excited. Oh, and I also stopped by the store and picked up some popcorn because that's the best snack ever in the whole world. And I got these star face pimple patches because I just feel like I wouldn't have a star on my face. Like that sounds fun. A makeup brush and tampons very glamorous errand but i had a good walk on the west side highway it's my favorite place in the world i will literally be there all summer so if you want to stalk me <laughs> i'm kidding please don't stalk me that terrifies me anyway let's watch the tony awards and while i'm doing that i'm just gonna eat relax do some computer stuff and also try and build my drying rack and do like break down boxes just like kind of a bunch of random little things that I need to do. So let's just get to it and it'll be a nice evening, I'm excited. Okay guys, the Tony Awards are over. Did I get any work done? No, I did get some computer stuff done that was productive and helpful, but did I get any actual apartment organizing done? No, but I had a good time <laughs> and it's time to go to sleep. I'm gonna start a new vlog tomorrow where I'm gonna be focusing on Organizing my closet, which is very exciting because all my clothes have just been in a pile for this entire week 
and I can't wait to have it all laid out in a nice organized way. So we will tackle that together in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting my moving series. This is just such a crazy time in my life. So <laughs> I'm just embracing the chaos and it's fun to take you guys all along. That was my kitchen setup. I feel like we did a good job. Obviously there's still gonna be some updates and like things to add and whatever, but we got the foundation of the kitchen set up, which is what's most important. So yay. This house is becoming a home, you guys. Subscribe so you don't miss my next video. And I'll see you guys there. Bye.